Welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, and you're fisking with Uncle Buck. And this is our final mission, third and final mission at Quanskin Lake. We're going after the spotted bass, the chain pickerel, the largemouth bass, the freshwater drum, and the bowfin. We're going to fish those at a little bit different spot than we've been fishing in the last two missions. We're going to go over more to the pelican hut off the off the dock over there where i like to fish for my bass where i fish for the when i fish in the bass tournaments is where i go so that's where we're going to head so with that, that being said now oh and the bait we're going to use for for this mission is going to be basically we're going to run small minnow as far as the live baits go small minnows and shiners uh night crawlers and medium cut um that should do it if we have to resort to some lures i guess i got a couple i got a bass rod rigged up so we'll hit that if we have to so let's jump over there where's my mouse at it's in the wrong screen all righty okay i had the pelican Let's go fish it. Now from here, we want to head out to those, and go out past those three, four trees out over there. We're going to make a right hand turn where you spawn in at. Come all the way out here to the end. Now, that hole there, and that hole down there. That's where we're going to do our fishing at, fellas. All right, let's see what we got first up. Let's. No dig winner, no Troy. Three and four, three. That is not three. That is three. There we go. All right, so we got a small minnow on here. We're going to drop one down here in this hole. And, well, that's a lot deeper than 23 inches. Let's drop her down to 32. <clears throat> to start off with, and we'll see what bites at 32. How's that sound to you? You good? All right. There we go. Let's see who comes to the who comes to the party first. Who wants to dance early in the morning? And there's our first candidate of the day. Not a very lively bunch here tonight, they are they? Is there? Oh, now he's having a chip pick. Finally realize you're getting yanked in. It's pickerel. Oh, well, there's our chain pickerel. Oh, he looks golden. We can mark him off the list. Where's my list at? Chain Pickerel. He's done. We'll keep him. He was the first one that liked our minnow. Let's go back in there a little bit deeper in that hole. Alrighty. And number two. I think bass. And there's our spotted bass. 
Bring him off the list. We need a largemouth bass. I think we need to get him. To my back. Yeah, that was full. But we'll give we we'll one more toss in here and see if we can get the largemouth out of here. It had a ding, but I don't know. I don't know. Come on, bite it. Thank you. So what do we have here? Might be another spark there. Yep, one more spark of bass. All right. We're going to spin around, and we're going to drop one in over here. Uh-oh, what happened there? Well, look, you got the leader too far down. Let's try 24 inches up there. Hmm. A little better. We could probably come up to 23 or 22. But it's off the bottom. We'll see what happens. Well, I think he's there, but I'm not sure. A couple of dings. Let's see. See him in the water. Come on. You can do it, big guy. Thank you very much. Fighting like a bowfin. Not yet, anyway. See. He ain't really fighting like a bass, he is. What is it? Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice big bass. Trophy large mouth. We, we shall take him. Mark him off the list. Nicely done, Buck. Alright, what do we need? A drum and the bowfin. Bowfin is here. However, we're going to go. A little bigger setup for him. And I do have a shiner on here. And so we'll try a shiner right off the bat, but I think we should probably go to cut baits. We should go to the cut baits, I think. There's both. I think we're going to end up with a, with a lot of bass with this one. We'll see. Oops. 
Ooh, you hear a bump. All right. Let's see who grabs on first. All right. One ringy dingy. Ooh. That was a punch and run. Tried to do the old dine and dash. Just where do you think you're going? Wheat. Hello. Kind of a ways off here now. Oh, I don't know what's wrong. Wheat. Had to drag a little bit too low there. Don't think that's making much of a difference, now is it? Hmm. To the fairly large fish. Maybe we got ourselves a uni here. That would be nice. Whole circle and right back to home. There we go. Come on, slow but sure. No, come on. Come on. No more ticking. Oh, we don't like that. And this is round two. Huh? That is a big bass. There we go. Well, how about that, Buck? You got yourself a new personal record. Who we'll have to make that a Kodak moment, won't we now? Uh oh, you better get that out of the way. There we go. That looks better. Let's get a picture of it. Why does it keep doing that? Got to figure out that mouth button there. Keep it. 1210 bucks for that uni. Well, I guess it didn't matter that I put that shiner on there. I kind of needed that fish. We'll go after that bowfin again. There we go. Alright. See what happens. Oh, we got one here. <clears throat> I think this is a bass, though. Yep. Okay, another large mouth. All right, what we're going to do here now is we are going to switch this up to medium cup bait. Win again. Okay. Let's see what we can roust up there on this. I don't know. This didn't seem like too big of a hit. Uh, it looks like him. And we'll take him. He's a little one. That gets the bowfin off of our list. 
and that was with our medium cup bait so we'll keep him so now the only thing we got left is the freshwater drop and if you guys that are following along in this series and you know we caught two of them while we we're after the smallmouth buffalo over on this swampy side over there at the beginning however since we're up here let me change what we got here two 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 six and seven i know i don't want that should be my bait caster there we don't want that right now um i guess we'll take this guy here I want, I want three. What are we going to do? Size one on. And let's take that. Let's put some night crawlers on him. All right. Now we're going to take a little walk. Now down through here, like I said, your chain pickerel on that side over there all the way up through there on the left and right side of these lily pads down to here chain pickerel again and your spotted bass and all through here you can flop and flip and and catch all kinds of all, all kinds of fish through here okay that's annoying here we go like i was saying before let me get my Pick up and have it out of the way here so we can take a look at everything. This is a great place to fish. I, I, I love to fish here. There's just, there's so much sucking. And, you, and like I said, hit where you see that little hole right out there, directly out there. Is that the one I wanted? Of course not. Three, maybe? There it is, three. You know, hit these things, these holes, right along these trees. There's fish in there. I think this one's a crappie. Nope, not a largemouth bass. It was tough seeing him down through the lilies. All right. Put that away before you poke somebody's eye out. All right, let's go get this freshwater drop. Now, I want to, since I don't have the zombie thing, you got to do, <clears throat> you got to do, um, Five of those 40 pound gar. Now I flipped right into this hole right here after I got my zombie bait, and that's where I caught it. Right there. That close to this here hut. But, but made the wrong turn, Tom. Went to this way. No, that's taking us back the other way. Walk them very fast. I bet you my sister. Now. Here. No, it's not for the red drum. Well, since we're down here. Show you guys real quick. Was it three? Yep. Do you have some trouble getting a red air sunfish? Uh oh. Yeah. 
Here we are right in the middle. Now stand up, hopefully we're not snagged. Of course I ain't got red worms on. But that's where you want to throw it. In there. We'll get you ready or sunfish. Obviously, whatever this is. Another spotted bass. Well, <clears throat> this is not where I wanted to go. All right, guys. We're going to head over to the swampy open space. <clears throat> we're going to grab that freshwater guy over here. Oh, I can't see my markers. There we go. All right. Oh, where's our, what's our depth at? All right, we're going to see what happens from here. We should be able to pick him up pretty soon right here. We got a bit of a ding. Let's see if we got somebody here. Somebody was dancing. But is it who we want? Well, and this bait is one or two. Either the buffalo or the drum. The drum. It is the buffalo. Of course. I can't be that easy. Alright. There we go. Let's try it again. That didn't take long now, did it? Bang. Uh, another buffalo, maybe? Used to be. No. They're all white, but wrong one. Ooh, that one's a little short. Oh well. See what happens. Well, we got one jumping and but he didn't take the bait yet. Let's see. There he is. there it be ladies and gentlemen that is our fresh h2o drum that completes the third and final mission punchkin lake trial i hope you had a lot of fun there much as i did <laughs> This place is pretty awesome to fish, as you can see. I mean, being able to just throw your bait out there and watch these guys come up and hit it, it uh, it's a different experience. You don't get to, you don't get to see that a lot in this game. So it's enjoyable to come here and watch fish here. All right, guys, that wraps it up for Quanskin Lake. Where are we off to next? I believe we're off to St. Croix. Now we're going to have a lot of fun over there. Yes, yeah, St. Croix Lake, Michigan. We got big sturgeon over there. We got blue cats over there. We got big walleye, big muskie, big pike. A lot of good fishing over there. We're gonna we're gonna have fun. 
I, mean, I, I can't have to decide what boat we're going to take this time for over there. It's pretty open water. You don't have no tight ways. Maybe we'll take the bass boat this time. All right, guys. That's it for this session. Um, <clears throat> remember, as always, if you got anything out of it, you enjoyed anything at all, give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Hit the subscribe button. I'll let you know. Or the YouTube boys will let you know when I post another one. And we'll see you again. And remember, never ever give up the fight.